Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ichimi. So, do you guys know that Shell Malaysia's new 180 kilowatt charging station can actually charge your electric vehicle from 0 to 80% in just 30 minutes? Plus, on the other hand, has enabled RFID at Juru to Skudai Tour Plazas at 10 p.m. on the 15th of January 2022. And here's everything you need to know about it. Following the discovery that Unify Mobile Postpaid customers can experience 5G next month, Telecom Malaysia appears to backtrack by removing the February 2022 availability date. On the Unify Mobile page, they have replaced the text "Subscribe now to enjoy 5G data" in February 2022 to "Subscribe now enjoy 5G data soon." Unify has also released a statement clarifying that they are unable to provide the actual date for customer trial as they are still doing extensive internal testing on its 5G service. It added that its goal is to provide Unify Mobile customers the best 5G experience they can offer. At the moment, Yes is currently the only telco to offer 5G user trial, and they are giving away 5G SIM packs for free. Digital National Berhad is currently the sole 5G wholesale provider in Malaysia, and local telcos could only offer 5G through the state-led company. In early December, TM was the first to announce its participation in DMB's 5G pilot trial, and it will be offered to its Unify Mobile Postpaid customers. Shell has just announced their new high-performance charging station, and they claim that it is Southeast Asia's first cross-border 180 kilowatt charging network. It is launching in Singapore and Malaysia, and there will be a total of six Shell stations with 12 HPC stations along the North-South Expressway. This project is done in collaboration with Porsche, with exclusive deals for Taycan buyers. The petrol stations will have a 180 kilowatt DC charger with two charging points, meaning you can charge up one electric vehicle with the full 180 kilowatt or two at 90 kilowatt. They claim to be able to charge a Porsche Taycan up to 80% in just 30 minutes. Whether or not it can charge your electric vehicle up to 80% with the same speed depends on the model, but BMW iX X Drive 40 is able to go from 10% to 80% in just 31 minutes with 150 kilowatt. So that might give you an idea of how fast 180 kilowatts can be. You will have to pay a confirmation charge, and you get charged for every five minutes of use. That means you have to pay 124 ringgit for 30 minutes, including the four ringgit confirmation charge. As we are aware of the arrival of the Samsung Galaxy S22 series, there is actually one question that is still unanswered, and that is the status of the processor powering it. There was much hype for the upcoming Exynos 22000 processor, with it supposed to be the result of Samsung's partnership with AMD. In fact, Samsung themselves added to the hype, tweeting this back on the 30th of December last year with a bold claim that playtime is over. The now deleted tweet also announced the launch date for the new Exynos chip, which is on the 11th of January 2022. However, there's still no Exynos 2200 in sight. Serious Samsung tipster Ice Universe claims that internally, Samsung has postponed the release of the Exynos 2200 chip. In fact, he claims that Samsung has been having issues with their Exynos chip since last year, with a planned mid-range chip called Exynos 1200 cancelled before its supposed launch date of November 2021. There was even speculation that the situation with the Exynos 2200 chip was so bad that Samsung might end up using Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip in all of their Galaxy S22 series phones instead of reserving it just for US and China. Ice Universe though has said on Weibo that the Exynos 2200 will still be used in several countries. However, Qualcomm's chip will be in more phones than previous generations. Samsung, on the other hand, has since responded to the no-show of the Exynos 2200 chip. The Korean giant said that they are planning to unveil the new application processor at the time of launching a new Samsung smartphone. They didn't say which smartphone they were referring to, but it's perhaps safe to say that it will be the Samsung Galaxy S22 lineup. When they were asked about the Mi Exynos 2200 launch date, meanwhile, Samsung spokesperson merely replied that there are no problems with the processor's production and performance. RFID is now accepted at all 83 toll plazas on Plus Highway, which will benefit 1.5 million RFID users. There are a total of 164 RFID toll lanes that are fully operational from 10 p.m. on Saturday. If you're still using Touch and Go or Smart Tag, don't worry as the existing lanes are still there. The RFID tags cost 35 ringgit each, and you can link up to 10 RFID tags to a single e-wallet. Take note that the RFID takes up to 24 hours to activate, and you must ensure you have sufficient balance before you start your journey. For greater convenience, you can activate auto reload using the Safe Credit or debit card. If you're using RFID, do make sure that you enter and exit via the RFID lane. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like our video if you liked it, and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And also click on the notification bell icon so you won't miss any of our future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.